What is good guys, Danny Boy here. So, I am needed at the seafood restaurant. Um, that is a meme that has been going on with me and my friends for the past, I think, seven, eight days. Um, I have not recorded in that time. Um, we are more than halfway done with the Pokedex. I keep doing raids, I'm obsessed with them, and yeah, so I had to put together a new team. So this is going to be our team for right now, for the rest of the game. We got Reboot, I named my monkey after my roommate Bunker. We got the Zax Beast, Civil Rights, of course. We have an Agislash and a Kamo'o. I'm going to figure out nicknames for these uh, three uh, while we're playing. So, yeah. So that is just our team. Um, just to show you guys kind of what my boxes look like. Um, yeah, I got my Dragapult level 100. Um, got a whole bunch of Elder Gloss. Cra uh, Cracker's level 81 now because I need him for a raid. Um... We just have so many good Pokemon. We got some Dynamax Pokemon as well. Um, so yeah, I think I, I have a Centiscorch that can Gigantamax. Which one is it? Is it this one? Yes, it is. It's this one right here. So yeah, a lot of these. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't help myself. Um, I was helping my friends with raids, and we all did our due diligence and our due parts. Thank you, Sam and Bunker, for allowing me to be able to do those really really high level raids when I'm only at level 2 raids so yeah so here's Pokeball here oh shoot it's Thanksgiving break so I should have plenty of time to record even though I haven't been Shh, I've actually never been over here I like how there's a whole bunch of fishing spots we'll do those later anyways um, we are needed at the seafood restaurant <laughs> I need to get past at least the third gym today hopefully um, yeah Thanksgiving was great uh, today, uh, this year was the first ever Thanksgiving ever in my 22 years of life where I was not with my family, but Sam, uh, my best friend Sam and my best friend Jesse, uh, allowed me to actually hang out with them and that was really amazing and really heartwarming. So thank you guys both. Danny, let's celebrate your recent victory. I like how Rose is just in the Ethan Klein look, the Ela Kleiners. Oh, you were invited too? Oh, Sonia, of course. You two know each other? That's great. Come on, please be seated. I just like how he's just there in such casual clothing because he doesn't want anyone to recognize him that's pretty freaking great holberry is a seafood town naturally if one is going to eat here the obvious choice is the local cuisine everything on the menu is delicious by the way how is professor magnolia getting on i'm quite indebted to her you know she was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to dynamax pokemon we would never have been able to create dynamax fans without her sigh she was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her so, some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector, that's the device that allows me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't know, I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried though. Is there, if only there were something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets to the Dynamax Mama lies in the history of Preserve there. Understood, Chairman. I'll arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it's about time we get going, Chairman. We didn't even get to eat, though. Hmm. But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Danny. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to be done, there's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. He didn't even pay for our food. He didn't even ask us if we wanted anything. Wow. So, like, does he think he's doing me a favor? He... He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for that info of legends, but you got to, you got the water badge, right? Yeah, defeating Ness is no false small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Yes, we got a Tim. Retaliate. I should probably teach that to Obstagoon. Did I not even say that? Yeah, civil rights evolved into Obstagoon. Sorry. I don't remember anything. I've also been really, really slouching with the editing. So I just updated episode 7. And this is like episode 10 or 12, I don't even know. Alright, mate, you, you've you got both the grass badge and the water badge now, right? In that case, we're both headed to Motostroke and the fire gym leader, Kabu. How about I share you, with you a little tip about the leader, Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar, mine number two, undergoing some special training. If he's there, then we can't take him on in Motostroke, even if we zip right over there. Putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So, so I say we head over to Galar mine number two ourselves. Let's see what all the fuss is going on about. Where is Galar mine number two? So I'm guessing number one was the one we were just at? Also, I believe the garbage truck is here. I don't know. I just keep hearing noises outside and I'm just confused. I use confusion! 
I already used that meme. Oh, there's a Shellos here. I don't have a Shellos yet. So, yes. Cool. New Pokemon. Make you 279. So, Reboot. Uh, I actually really... So, I taught him Gunk Shot and Blaze Kick just so he actually has decent moves. Boom. Oh, wait. We were supposed to catch it. My bad. <laughs> Get yeeted on, you stupid little Shellos. I also really wanted to use Curl Gunk. I just could not find... Just couldn't find the room for it. So... Oh, I guess... I'll, oh, there's Beatty. You again. Freaking Beatty. What do you want? I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood right now to deal with a weakling's rate. With like, oh my goodness, Beatty. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then you surely should be ready for a Pokemon. Yes! Oh, BD. Oh, you don't even know. You fairy type user. Oh, he does a great ball. That's actually kind of cool. BD is confirmed a boy. Despite those on fleek eyelashes. So, psychic. Solosis. Uh, what are we going to use? Just blaze kick, I guess. Boom. Eat my rabbit foot thing. Level 21. Okay, so he's not too high level. Hmm, looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. Okay, first off, civil rights totally killed you last time, so should we just repeat that? Yeah. Okay, so it's now canonical. Every single time we face BD, we have to use just civil rights. Go civil rights. This obstagoon mother trucker is going to destroy you with civil rights. You need to learn your place. Just like more than half of America. Use X scissor. I like how he has a giant X on his back and then we're using X scissor. That's legit. Look, the health bar couldn't even exist anymore. That's how fast it went down. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? And then he has... Oh, he must have Galarian Ponyta. That's awesome. I don't have that one yet. And I think that's my first time seeing it, too. So maybe it's up on the next route. And then I can get more Pokemon for my Pokedex. All I want to do is unlock level 3 raids. That's all I want to do with my life. Alright, because level 3 raids are really easy. I didn't realize that some of them put up barriers. Excellent. No, not anyone can corner my team like this. Then again, I am really high leveled. I like how he just has Hatina. And I'm just like, Obstagoon, X Scissor, that mother trucker. And that's all there is to it. Just, that's it. So I did level 33, 35, 30. Just thought it would be easy. Um, we're going to be outmatched. Not this gym, but the next gym. You should a little. At least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Whatever, BD. I will destroy you. I already destroyed you twice with civil rights. How many times do I have to... How, How many times, times do we have, have to beat, to beat you till you learn your lesson, lesson old man? man. I, love I love the young love people. The young people. <laughs> we got BD's lead card. Alright. Now, where shall I go to collect my next wishing stars? Oh, whatever. You're a poopy head. Bye. Oh, I also... Also, I changed how my character looked. Oh, there's a Wimpod. Um, she has green eyes, and because we're Dan Green, or Danny Green, um, I don't know if I like the green eyes on her. I, I just, I don't know. And I also bought a new outfit just because I thought it looked cool. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We should have a, got a quick ball right here. Let's see if it works. I hope it does. <laughs> just get that, Shellos. One, two, three. Yes! Cool. We got we got that Shellos. Heck yeah. I'm excited. Then we can get a Gastrodon. That's two Pokedex entries, entries right there. And then I think after we get to this gym, we can we will be able to um, find even more Pokemon. Ooh, wait. What in the world? Oh, the new Stunfisk. I already caught one. But uh, yeah, well, there was a huge... I think it's like a rank 5 raid. And my friends were telling me about it, and I was like, oh, this will be fine. And I saw it, and I go, dear God, that thing looks like an absolute beast. It acts like a bear trap, and I think that is the coolest thing. It's supposed to look like a Pokeball, and then you try to pick it up, and then... Oh, there's a Shuckle? No, come back, Shuckle. There it is. Oh, did I accidentally hit into the... Okay, no, I did get the Shuckle. I don't have a Shuckle yet. All right. So, competitive Shuckle team, let's go. Oh, uh, so it's Rock, so this shouldn't kill it. I hope, at least. These literally have, like, 
Bunker and all the other ones, except for Zax Beast and Obstagoon, are the only ones that actually have EVs and anything. Because, you know, I've actually used them in battle. So this will be fun. Um, you're a bug type, so let's go with the netball. Pew! Alright. One. Two. Three. Yeah, awesome. We're so close to completing that Pokedex now. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Especially now since, you know, I'm actually playing the game. <laughs> That's why all my friends are so upset. They're like, we get that you have super strong and amazing Pokemon. But, like, here's the thing. Actually play the game. I've spent over 60 hours in this game literally just doing the raids. That's it. Just the raids. And I have level near 100 Pokemon. I have level 100 Meowth. That Gigamaxes for lots of money, uh, which we will be using uh, most likely later on in the game. Just for the lols, mostly. Just for the lols. Um, I have nothing effective against this thing, the Carcoal. Um, let's bring out Komo'o. If you're wondering why I have a level 30 Komo'o and a level 30 Agislash, uh, raids. Just raids. You too can achieve this by spending only like 10 hours doing raids I'm cheating I know I am I'm so sorry close combat just destroy it this Kamo -oh, I'm trying to get just so overpowered just entirely OP uh, we we are in the 20s so that's pretty good uh, Nessa I think her highest level Pokemon is like 24 I love that guy's like 5 o'clock shadow oh, it's like perfectly aligned with his mouth that was kind of cool so we got three dust balls awesome love me some dust balls Okay, that, okay, I was going to say, that is a trap. Um, oh, I love how its mouth is like a Pokeball, too. I didn't realize that. That's really cool. Uh, I actually don't know what type. Oh, wow, level 25. So, it's, what is it in this gen? Is it like bug? Because it's super effective when I did that. It got rid of, ooh, this is probably going to kill me. Nope. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what Stumpfisk is. I think it was ground in the last one, or ground electric. Because I remember, um, si what is his name? Silen? From Pokemon Black and White, the series? He had a Stunfisk. That was cool. Yeah, there's another freaking... Okay. Oh, Gastrodons are in here. That's cool. That is cool to know. And what do we get? We get a Choodle. I thought it was shiny for a second, then I realized that's just what they all would look like. The Squirtle and the Turtwig mixture. I still think it's adorable. It looks so derpy that it's cute. It's had that unibrow too. Alright, let's see. And then we have this chick that I'm totally going to avoid. Grip Claw. Okay. I thought that was the one. Ooh, nope. Oh, Team Yell. Let's go. Two fat boys in leather. Oh, you know my opinion. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? At least he's kind of like respectful. Crikey, but that's really something. I'd love to battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Danny. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You should... You'll even be showing up... You, dang it! English language! You'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oh, jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, and can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer who will beat the next champion? Oh, so you're just a joker here, eh? So you're so funny, I forgot to laugh. I think these guys are just honestly trying to be nice. I don't know. You think I'm joking, I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end up with some laughs. <laughs> oh jeez, Hop, that's pretty savage. Let's take them on together, Danny. You ready, mate? Yes, of course I'm ready. Go ahead and go with Reboot. I just like the name Reboot. What, what did this other kid have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just want to knock off challengers one at a time. Okay, so they were trying to knock, knock me off, so to speak. Team Yell, let's go. Team Yell sent out Feeble and the... Oh my goodness, look, they're in perfect unison. I love it. Okay, so 21 and 22, uh, we're going to go ahead and go for Gunk Shot on the line in. Baby Doll Eyes. How could a Lion <laughs> line in use Baby Doll Eyes? I think, yeah, attack just lowers my attack. And he avoided the Gunk Shot. It only has an 80% accuracy anyways. This, oh, he's thinking of a nasty plot. That's not good. Ooh, I saw you just randomly just see Hop Tan come out. 
That's actually kind of funny. Alright, let's see. Um, okay, just go for a blaze kick, I guess. I just realized Reboot has, like, the worst accuracy moves. Alright, cool. Thievil's down. Freaking swiper, no swiping. Um, okay. And then we have Night Slash. And Reboot should be able to take that. And Lulu use Double Kick. That's four times effective. I wish his Wulu was just a little bit stronger. But that's fine. He can't be as strong as me. Let's be real. I'm not even supposed to be as strong as I am. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't even really need to switch out. I just don't want to deal with this. Come on, Gunk Shot. There we go. Boom. And he's dead. That did not take any effort whatsoever. I'm so sorry for overleveling, but this is just what happens when you just do a large amount of raids. And honestly, the my favorite part about this game are the Dynamax raids. They're just so much fun, and I just like seeing giant Pokemon and then killing them within an inch of their life, like, instantly. It's amazing. Watch out! Samurai Jack. That watch out! Always got me. Um, let's see. Okay, Reboot, level 34. Awesome. <laughs> Rulu used Growl, but it failed. Oh, they have one more. They have a Panjam. Okay. Uh, Blaze Kick, that Panjam. Oh, wow, he has really, like, low PP moves. I just... Ooh, we got the burn. Nice. Just now really... Wulu, really, hop. Why would you use Defense Curl? Why would you use Defense Curl? We could have ended this battle so easily. Circle Throw. Doesn't that switch him out? That does switch him out, I was about to say. What do we get? Thwacky. We got Bunker. Bunker was dragged out. That's how I feel like every single time I have to get him out of the room. I drag him out of the room. Alright, use Branch Poke. <laughs> you absolute legend. Look, he just the branch appears out of nowhere and just pokes him. That, that's quite literally what it is. It is a Branch Poke, so I will, um, I accept that. I will accept that. Are you, are you gonna tell us because we up and yet yeah, what? What is this? Are you gonna yell at us because we up and you lost? Oh, that was a pun. If I'd use a horn, would I have had a better chance of winning? Oh my goodness. Team Yell, I don't understand your ebonics. That little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that that's what you get when your older brother not brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. At least that's kind of respectful. We're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly when we're uh, when we're beaten. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's get going. Maybe he's further in. Okay. Oh, there's a Dreadnought just casually just sitting there. That's fine. Oh, another Shellos. Oh, that is not what I want. <laughs> I don't want to get caught by another Stun Fist. He's looking away. Oh, there's a Tim. I love me some Tims. Oh, I want the Tim. I just have to wait for him to not look this way I don't like fighting people I'm sorry oh sand tomb it's not even a good to me all right let's see aha all right there we go oh there's hop again oh a binacle but we already caught it a whim coal he has a coloss the coal thing thank you for helping me out with my training team yell but I must say it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a car our car coal at work. We weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scamper and give a morale boost to somewhere else. <laughs> That's pretty great. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gore. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. He is so scary and intimidating. Oh, you're a trainer endorsed by Leon, Hop, and Danny, am I right? I'm just training up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you in gym, face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire-type Pokemon, and the water-type Pokemon in Galar Mine number 2 are the perfect opponent to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of the mine, and you'll reach Motostroke. Get a good rest at the hotel, and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Carcoal, time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get lots, get there safely. Gore. That's amazing. I love him. He's adorable. We're going to be on fire tomorrow. All right, look at, oh, God, he's wearing the, what do you call it? 
chubbies where you can see the knees i think that's what they're called i remember lee talking about nabu he said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat ikabu man now i'm getting all fired up too pun because it's a fire gym i don't know maybe maybe not jigs gonna make me run out of there stop in the badoo drop in for the night all right i guess that's what we do but hey i got to the next town frick you roommate for saying i don't play pokemon I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know what Pokemon Poke job is by now, right? Poke what? Literally. Looks like there's no helping it. In that case, settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take Poke jobs from the Rotami at any Pokemon Center, so give it a look sometime. Now I'm cream cracker. From what? Now I'm cream crackered. America, explain. Please, definition here. I'm in the Badoo drop-in for some sleep. Come by tomorrow. That fire gym leader, Kabu, better be ready because I'll be coming for him. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for the episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and search this tall grass. And before we go, just one little thing. No, no, no. I don't want... No, no. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to go in the cave. No, Danny, please, just do the whip. There it is. Boom, episode over.